Dutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the race car mystery. After writing a chapter in the adventure logbook, Clutch and company start out by truck on another journey. I think you'll enjoy this county fair, Spinner. I haven't been to one for years. I get excited just thinking about it. Sounds like Paddlefoot does, too. Are you going to enter the auto races, Clutch? That's my plan, Spinner. You see, a very good friend of mine, Hiram Biggs, built a race car. A couple of days ago, during a race, he was out in front a cinch to win. When, for no reason, something happened to his car, and he lost the race. What happened? All he said was, it looked like sabotage. You mean somebody did it on purpose? Mm, it looks like it. It won't be long now. Here's the village limit sign. It says, you are now entering Quietville, population 700 quiet people. And there are the fairgrounds. Oh, boy, look at the Ferris wheel. And that looks like a roller coaster. There's the man who takes the tickets. Hello there. Is this where we buy our tickets? That's why I'm here, sir. Going to enter our board track races? I had an idea I would. By the way, where will I find Hiram Biggs? Straight ahead to Tent B. You a friend of High's? Yes, though I haven't seen him in years. My name is Cargo. Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo? Say, I've heard of you. These are my pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. How do you do, sir? <coughs> that isn't nice, Paddlefoot. I think he's a little tired. My name's Carney Vale. I'm the promoter of the fair. We'll see you on the grounds. Right. So long. So that's Clutch Cargo. Pretty smart boy. I wonder why he's... A... <laughs> He'll have a couple of exciting chapters to add to his book. If he lives. There it is, Clutch. Tent B. Bless my bones, Clutch, you've got here. Come on in. Best car I ever built, Clutch. Smooth looking and running just like a dream. Faster than greased lightning. I was way out in front and then it happened. Never did finish the race. Golly, where's the car now? Can we see her? Right out back. Come on, I'll show her to you. See what I mean? It was sabotage, and I mortgaged the farm to build her. It's a wonder you weren't killed. I was going great when all of a sudden the right side just jumped up, and that's all I remember. Can I get into the race today? You've got about an hour before registration closes. Give me a hand, you two, and I'll give her a trial spin. Clutch, Spinner, and Hiram unload the racer, and in minutes, Clutch is driving a test run. She's ship shape, raring to go. The hour of two rolls around, and all is ready for today's race. I'll be careful, Hiram. I'll watch the spot where it happened to you. So long. Good luck, Clutch. Zero. Meanwhile, near the railing of the board racetrack, Carney Vale waits, eyes on Clutch in the lead. As Clutch's car number five comes around... Is the car going front with car one not too far behind? Looks like car going left. But wait, something's wrong. Clutch car going far, see the one wide. He's lost control. He's going to crash the river. Can Clutch survive being hurtled through the air? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the race car mystery. You remember last time Clutch and company had been asked by Hiram Biggs to come to Quietville's County Fair to help solve the mystery of who had wrecked Hiram's race car. Clutch had entered his car number five in the trophy day with one lap to go. What a driver. Who really jumps and fires the race right now? Here's the finish in car number one, owned by Tiny Dale, which is the trophy day. Wow, Clutch, we saw it all. Same place it happened to me, only you were luckier. You don't know how close that was. But let's not talk here. Too many years. Where can we go? Over to Ma Summer's boarding house. That's where I'm staying. Can we stay there too, Clutch? I should have told you. 
I already got your room there. Good. Well, I'd like to wash up a bit, then come back later to look around. And I think you were right, Hi. Both our accidents smell like sabotage. Now to find out how. Looks to me like a well-thought-out plan. And just who is Carney Vale? He runs the fair. Used to be with the carnival. I hear he's an expert knife thrower. Used to do a knife throwing act. Till one day he slipped and lost his partner. He says it was an accident. Have there been any other accidents besides the cars? Oh, yes. Diane Diavolo, our pretty trapeze artist, nearly fell a hundred feet. When they looked at her trapeze, the rope had been cut. This moment, Clutch's keen ears warn him that someone has stopped right outside the door and is listening. Keep talking loud, Aaron. This is a good county fair, but business has been slow and... Just as I thought. Who are you and what are you doing there? I know it was wrong to listen, but as I passed your door, I heard someone mention me and my trapeze rope being cut. I thought I'd found the guilty party. Not this time, Diane. This is Clutch Cargo and Spinner and Paddlefoot. Don't tell anyone, but they're here to help solve the mystery. Boys, this is Diane Diavolo, the daring young girl on the flying trapeze. And just in time to go back to the fair with us. Aw, oh, shucks. Girls. Now we can't have any fun. Don't be too sure, Spinner. She's what we call a real daredevil. Wait till you see her in action. Back they go to the fair for an afternoon of fun, with Clutch hoping to get a look at the track. Take in some of the rides, Spinner. Maybe Diane will go with you. Oh, girls. Come on, Spinner, please. I never had a brother. We'll meet back here at the entrance in one hour. I want to look at my car. Clutch and Hiram start for the racing pits, while Spinner and Paddlefoot, not at all happy, go with Diane. I've looked her over from top to bottom. She looks okay to me. I want to enter the big race tomorrow. The hour is up, Clutch. We'd best find Diane and Spinner. Here's where I said we'd meet. Here comes Diane and Paddlefoot, but I don't see Spinner. Where's Spinner? Isn't he with you? He left me and said he was going to the track to find you. Clutch! Clutch, save me! Help! Why would Carney try to kidnap Spinner? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the race car mystery. You remember last time Clutch survived crashing the rail. He learned about other accidents that had happened when he met Diane Diavolo, the pretty trapeze artist. She and Spinner were to meet Clutch and Hiram. Diane came back without Spinner. Suddenly... Clutch! Clutch! Hey, put him down! It's Carney. Put that boy down! He won't do it, Clutch! One more step and I'll let you have it. Now, what's this all about? You'll notice all the curious people around, Mr. Cargo. That's the way we get their attention. Business has been bad, so I think up little things to do that'll make crowds gather and talk. They tell other people about the excitement, then they all come to see what'll happen next. Besides, I found him under the board track. No one is allowed there. No one. That may be true, but to deliberately scare a little boy like that. Just don't let it happen again, or you and I are going to have trouble. Come on, Spinner. I won't do that again, but there are plenty of other things I can do, especially when business is bad. Look out, Mr. Cargo. Clutch and Spinner join Hiram and Diane. It's time for my afternoon show, so I'll go get dressed. Meet me over by the plane. Hi, why don't you and Spinner and Paddlefoot walk over toward the plane? There's something I want to do. Okay, Clutch, and we'll look around on the way over. Don't miss Diane's act, Clutch. She hangs by her teeth from under the plane. A real whip snorting act. Wouldn't miss it for anything. I'll be along. Hang by her teeth? 
Hirsch, maybe I was wrong about Diane and, and girls. Let's go, Mr. Biggs. Clutch turns and heads for the board track, talking to himself as he goes. I ought to find a way under the track without being seen. Nobody near here. Now's my chance. Slowly, Clutch makes his way under the track, looking everywhere for a clue to the race car accidents. Don't see a thing here except that hydraulic jack we used to put up the track. Still, I wonder. Oh, better get over near the plane. Diane's about ready to take off. Here comes Clutch. I knew he'd make it. Glad you got here, Clutch. Someone wants me at the gate. I'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. bravest girl I ever saw. Look, she's on the way. Now she's crawling under. She's on the wheel. She grabbed that cable. So now she's hanging by her teeth. Someone save her? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the race car mystery. You remember last time Clutch and company had returned to the fairgrounds with Diane and Hiram. While Clutch went to investigate the board track, Diane left to dress for her act. Excitement was great as Diane took off on the plane, climbed out on the wing, and ended up hanging by her teeth from the underside. Suddenly, from the race announcer came the warning words. Come on, Spinner. We've got to get my race car on the track. Maybe we can save her. seconds, Clutch and Spinner get the race car started and are on the track. Wave your arm, Spinner. Maybe that pilot will see us and come lower so you can grab Diane. Frantically, Spinner waves his arms and... seen him. He's coming lower. It worked, Clutch. He sees me. He's coming down. Steady now, Spinner Boy. That safety belt is hooked around your legs. Don't pull on it. Just steer it to us. should have a medal. Would someone get her some water? She seems to have fainted. Right here, Clutch. And a cold cloth. Here. Drink this. Be easy now. There. What? What happened? Am I all right? You're fine now, Diane. Thanks to Clutch and Spinner, they saved your life. And Spinner, thank you. You're welcome, Miss Diane. Oh, oh! And Paddlefoot wants to shake hands. I don't know how I can ever thank you all enough. 
No need for that, Diane. It's enough just to know you're safe. The plane just landed. I want to take a look at that cable. Go ahead, Clutch. I'll see that Diane gets to her dressing room. I'm sure glad I saw your signal. I couldn't see what was wrong, but I knew something had happened. That was a sample of great flying, sir. Thanks. But say, look at this cable. Somebody cut it. That's always carefully inspected, but today we were a little late, so we missed it. Clutch cargo, please report to your car. That's for me. Thanks for your help. Clutch cargo, please report to your car. Clutch, this note's for you. Meet me under the racetrack immediately. Important news. Clutch hurries to the board track. dark under here. Ah, here's the light switch. Who could have thrown that knife? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the race car mystery. You remember last time Clutch received a mysterious note asking him to come beneath the board track for some important news. As Clutch turned on the light. <laughs> Meddle in my affairs, will you? Uh, here's one that's closer. And this one. So this is how you finished off your partner, huh? That's right. Swiftly, Clutch's hand touches the light switch. Now we're on even terms. I'll get you. What the... <coughs> Gone through that other door. Last call for the racing event of the day. We're trying to chase him now. Here he comes. Hooray! Here comes Clutch. Watch for Carney. He's the cause of all these accidents. Carney Vale sneaking through the door that goes under the track. Is Clutch in for trouble? This is the 15th class of the event. Car number one that still in the lead with the cargo car number five. Running our close second. Cargo race is the ball in the gap. Race him, Clutch. You can win. Only two more laps to go when car number five is changing a little. Uh oh, that board in the track. I can hit it just right. Carney tried to get me again. I'm going after him. The race is over, Carney, and I won. One step closer, Cargo, and I'll let you have it with this jack handle. I'm leaving. You won't get far. He ran into the funhouse, Clutch. I'll show him what fun really is. Carney jumps into a water barrel and floats quickly into a tunnel. Clutch follows in another barrel. Carney jumps into a moving coaster car. Clutch follows suit. Suddenly, Carney stops like a tired dog. I give up. I can't go through that thing. It makes me dizzy and I have a weak stomach. What about the terrible things you did to other people? Cutting that cable so Diane would fall. Raising up the board in the track to make the cars crash. I did it to help business, to get people to talk about the bear. What are a few broken bones when business is bad? I only did it for fun. We're in the fun house. Try this on for fun. Did you catch him, Clutch? He told everything. Hiram, will you call the police? Shucks, no. I'm a deputy sheriff. I'll take care of him. And take care of that $10,000 prize money, Hiram. Pay off the mortgage on your farm. Well, I swan, Clutch. Thanks a heap, and I'll pay you back. Why not stay here in quiet, Bill, Clutch? We need someone like you. Thanks, Diane, but I'm afraid not. 
Clutch Cargo and Company like to stay on the move. Right, Spinner? Right, Paddlefoot? <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the race car mystery. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot.